Welcome to the garage. Got a new truck, so I was going to throw a different radio in it. I started searching Amazon and found several cheap double den style Bluetooth receivers. So I ordered one and found a different one that I liked more. So I thought I canceled this one and ordered that one and lo and behold they both showed up so I figured I'd throw them on the bench and see which one I really liked more this one was $46 on Amazon came with not that your Chineseium manual a couple of generic brackets handful of screws nice tool for removing the dash from your vehicle to install this Some cheap electrical tape there and the backup camera don't really see any sort of brand on this um, when I tried it out earlier on Bluetooth it just comes up as car kit and there's no brand listed anywhere on the website or on the packaging itself this one was $59 and it came with also the backup light or backup camera uh, smaller manual same brackets it also comes with a steering wheel remote control and a handheld remote control They are slightly different, even though they're pretty much the same layout. I was looking for something with the quick knob to do volume. If I want to reach over, I don't want to be searching for buttons. I just want to be able to hit mute or turn the volume down quickly if I need to. But the same pretty much button layout, even though they are different sizes on the knobs. This one's a little bigger than this. Um, and this one has more of a glowing home button even though they're they're in the same spot let's power them up and see what they look like That one comes on with power automatically. This one I think I have to hit the button on. There we go. I said they have a little bit different software on them. Um, looking at the depth, this one is actually much more shallow than this one even though they feel about the same weight I've connected Bluetooth to both of them I've done the screen mirroring from Android on both I would show you that but I'm using the phone to record I did test out the backup cameras on them They're just pointed at the ceiling right now. But you do have to connect those on the back of the radio, and you also have to connect your camera, which is triggered by your backup lights. So when your backup lights come on, the camera will come on. I get a good connection there. So the cameras do work on both of them. The cameras look very similar. Let's focus. The one is more encased. This one's more encased with LEDs and over the lens. This one, the LEDs are a little more vulnerable, it looks like. Let's do... The home screen on this one looks... Hmm. Kind of cartoonish, really. This one looks a little more 
not user friendly, but a little more stylized. I don't have any audio hooked up to them right now. Or no speakers, I should say. Um, I do have Bluetooth connected to both of them. I'm trying right now to see if I can play my music while I'm recording this. And which one's going to pick up here? I do like on this one. I'm playing Bluetooth from Pandora right now. It picks up the artist, the album, and the song title. This one you have to hit Bluetooth, then you have to go to the music, and all I get is it says Galaxy 7 there. I think that's washed out, you can't really see it. But I don't get any track title or anything from that one. Now, I haven't tried playing anything off the card readers. They both have the micro SD card slots on them. They both have auxiliary in. They both have the USB at the same spot to plug up your phone and do the mirror link. Just kind of quickly put them in the dash kit that I have for a 2005 Toyota Tacoma access cab. Not new, but new to me. But right now I think I actually saw a third one on there that I liked better than both of these. So I may end up ordering that one and returning both of these. Um, it was $66, I believe, so a little bit more than the one on the right here. But the thing that I saw that it did have that these did not was AVN. So on this one, you've got CVBSN, which I, I believe is for a front camera also. But I wanted a dedicated audio video in I could swap to maybe throw a little Raspberry Pi down in underneath the dash running Cody basically does the same thing but on that you can control the software a lot better than on these and you can do a little more customization and you can run games and things kids could sit in the back and play some video games if they wanted so figured why I had these plugged up checking them out I'd just share a video I'm sure other people have looked at these and wondered if they are any good I've watched several videos everyone seems to be happy with these I mean you get what you pay for I'm sure you're not spending $300 on a pioneer we'll see how long they last but these go in pretty quickly just buy a little kit the dash kit and a little wiring kit for your vehicle the hardest part's going to get a one of these cameras run to the back and get everything situated there. If you have any questions, I might answer them, but probably not. Uh, this one did come up. It wasn't listed on the site, but it came up as Boss Audio under the Bluetooth name, which I saw those listed for even higher prices. It's all the same Chinese stuff, different branding, a little bit different models, but you can never really be clear on what you're getting. That's why I didn't mind getting a couple, and I will return the one I don't want. It's the beauty of Amazon. Alright, signing off.